Hey everyone! So we are on our way to the airport now. We're about to begin our Hawaiian adventure. We really want to do it with Caleb, but you yeah. know how these mornings get. They're so chaotic <laughs> and everything. So uh, he just got dropped off at Grandma and Grandpa's. Yeah. Um, they are having a great time. We're like, bye, Caleb. He's like, bye. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Pizza don't fail me now. He's, he's out. He's having a great time. So yeah, added to the stress is we actually have to get to the airport much earlier than we typically do because mm -hmm. of okay. the um, requirements to travel to Hawaii. So we have to go check in with our airline, show all of our information, get it all scanned in. And then once we're past security, we can relax. All right, we have made it. Aloha. Absolutely. Oh yeah, aloha. <laughs> and the sun is right in our eyes. I know, so. <laughs> I can barely even see right now, but, but hey, we hear the waves in the background. It's beautiful outside. This is gonna be an awesome trip. Okay, so we are in room 518. I think the one thing, I think the thing everybody wants to see right off the bat is our room. Exactly. So we're gonna do a room tour. The room so. with the view, so yeah. stunning ocean view. So here we go, we can go in. Wow, look at that. Wow. So we are on the fifth floor. Ooh. So real quick, we are staying at the Mauna Kea. Yeah, Mauna Kea Beach Hotel. We don't know if that's the way you say it. We're gonna wait for some people yeah. to actually say it. Is it Mauna Kea, Mauna Kea? I don't know, but that's where we're staying. Right when we walked in, there's a little entryway. It looks like we got some treats here. You'll enjoy homemade banana bread, coconut shortbread cookies, and chocolate mac nut spread. Oh wow. Sounds delicious. Okay, so this was our entryway. I guess we'll go right into our bathroom. This looks pretty awesome. So we've got like two stations here. Very, very big mirror with, I love the lighting that comes out. Oh, that's awesome. Plenty of space. So Mike will take up all of this plus <laughs> this. And I have my little space over here, so that works Whatever. out. Whatever. Oh wow. Look oh, at my. this. This is so cool. This the whole so this whole thing is it's basically a shower. Air. Yeah, still have a little bit of privacy if you need that. Right. This is kind of cool. It's this is awesome. I'm gonna get on this side so the lighting is yeah. a little bit better. But yeah, so that's where we came in from, and right. you walk in, and then you just you literally just walk right into your shower. This whole room that's is cool. essentially a shower. That's really cool. That is awesome. We got the bathtub here. Coming out into the main living room, we've got this big desk here. Really, really nice. I'm guessing the TV is probably be yeah, we'll behind that here. Yeah, we'll show Okay. I, I hate coming into a room and showing you a TV. So oh, yeah. Especially when you have other great things to look at. Right. Let's see, we've got these cool little, oh, they, this is what they said. So they're out doing um, water service in the room. So they're providing us with this, and we can actually go to water stations throughout the entire hotel to actually get our own water. So that's kind of cool. We got a coffee maker here. They've given us some wine glasses, some glassware, corkscrew. We got this nice big bed here, two nightstands. And then what's going on here on these nightstands? This is, oh, this is like the light switch right next to the be bed. That's awesome. So going back, um, so this is where we came in. This is our little entryway table here. This side, we have our closet. Wow, this is a huge closet. The one thing I'll say about everything in this room is there's a lot of space everywhere. Yeah. Like we have a huge closet, we have an entryway, that bathroom goes on forever. The huge patio outside, so we got some nice space. Yeah, we do. But I keep coming back to this. I cannot get over this bathroom. This is so awesome. Also, I have to say, this is a very large patio. Like, there's a lot of space here. This is going to be great. I think we're going to be doing some room service while we're here, so we'll definitely be taking our coffee and breakfast outside. So not only do you have this huge patio over there, but there's also a separate patio uh, as an attachment to the shower. Oh, really? So we also have that as an addition. So yeah, there's a separate wall here, so the other patio is on that side, but then we have... Oh, so it's not even connected. Okay. And we got this nice chaise lounge around here too. Wow. And you could just sit here and chaise out while you look at the ocean. One thing that's a little odd that I, I don't know if you've noticed this yet, huh. but there is a tiny little step right here. So... You think you're gonna fall? Yes. Like you lean over? <laughs> I've been alarmed twice now since we've been here. So right now it is about 5.20 here, which means it's 8.20. That's what it feels like for us at yeah. home. Yeah. But. I think we're gonna try and get some dinner. We'll see what we can do. Grab some dinner. We actually have some friends here as well that we all uh, network with. So we'll probably get some drinks, dinner, relax. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. 
I almost forgot to show you guys all the little bathroom stuff they've given us. I love checking out what hotels give you. So it looks like we've got some shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, and body lotion. It's hard to see with this lighting, but it is, it's that brand. I don't know how, oh, I'm messing it all up. It's that brand, I can't pronounce it. It's like, and I can't zoom in. I'll find a better logo. Here by the bathroom, they've got this little stool. And as you can see, this is the brand that they've got. Um, can you see that? I don't know how to pronounce that. La Aquitaine, La Aquitaine. But it looks like they've given us um, extra gentle soap. And then here, a Gant loofah body buffer. That's pretty cool. And I just noticed over here, they've given us a little effervescent cube for the bath. Fun. Okay, so jumping ahead a bit, we um, we kind of unwinded. No, that, we, that's we unwound. Unwound. That's a better way. <laughs> yes. We went down to the bar and we had a few drinks. We met some friends. Yeah. <laughs> it was great to catch up with those folks. But now Mike, the most amazing husband ever, secured a reservation that was never able to be yeah. secured beforehand. So we've been <laughs> trying to make this reservation the entire time, like planning this trip, yes. and we've never been able to it. Been able to do it. I go downstairs. They got us in. Well, here we go. So now we have fine dining ahead of yes, us, Yes, right? first night. So we're gonna go downstairs. We have about half an hour yet, and I have to admit, the day's getting a little long because it is, it is getting long. it's 7.40 here, but it's 10.40 our time. Yeah, yeah, so. and we're old fogies, yeah. so, you know. <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna rally. Yes, we are, we have to. We have to just, <laughs> in the first 24 hours, you have to do for, that. For so. sure. All right, so this is dinner. I mean, what kind of view is this? Yeah. Hey, can you hear it? Like. Yeah, you can't see it, but you can hear the ocean. Yeah, yeah. There's spotlight. They got the here. torches lit. We're excited. Yeah, and dinner is just right. So this is like the main lobby, but the restaurant is just right here. Okay, here we are again. This is Manta. Dinner seating begins at 5:30. Here, this is a look of when you first walk in. As you can see, they've got a bar here, and then seating is straight ahead. All right, so we just sat down already. I'm loving this. We got outside dining and we are right along the beach. Like I said, you can't see it because it's so dark, but you can hear it. This is gonna be awesome, I love this. Yeah. So let's dive into the menu and see what they've got here. It looks like they've got some starters that includes a seafood bisque, some sashimi. They've got some salads on the menu for entrees. It looks like they've got some fruits de mar. A veal chop is a signature item. They've got a Kobe ribeye, wow. Here is a look at the cocktails served here at Manta. It looks like they have a signature Mai Tai, Auntie's Backyard. But what's really catching my eye is this Macnut Manhattan and a Mauna Kea Old Fashioned. To start, our server set down this lavash flat, what do you say it was? Uh, looks like there's two different kinds in here. So we have this lavash okay. flatbread here. Lavash flatbread. And then, oh, that's Mike's favorite. Yeah, I'm gonna like that. And they brought us this really pretty butter. So again, we forgot what these, what these are, but to me it tastes like a flattened, like crisp wonton. So very delicious, love them a lot. And Mike's already got into the other bread. So. Yeah, the bread is very basic. It's good, but it's like your classic like French loaf that's been sliced. We're hungry. This yeah, we are. <laughs> One thing I've noticed on the menu is that they have some signature dining items that are highlighted by the little image of the manta, and that is the veal chop. Steve has decided to go with this mac nut crusted mahi mahi. That does sound delicious too, but I want to do a signature item. And to start my dinner, I'm going to do something totally out of character. Again, I'm going to go with a signature item. I'm going to get the manta sashimi. All right, so we placed our order for our starters 30 seconds ago, and they just arrived. <laughs> Yeah, this was very fast. Yes. I think it, it is quick prep stuff. So, so this is seafood bisque, so it's got some lobster meat in it, uh, tomato um, base, and it looks like we have some croutons as well. Oh, I think this has the shell on it now. Well, that's a bit hard. Oh. We'll just try the soup. <laughs> Soup's good. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can break off some of this last time. Okay. <laughs> what? So there's a reason why this. Soup requires a knife. It's a little overcooked. Oh, is it? The lobster's overcooked? Yeah. Okay, but the soup's good. 
Okay. And as I said before, I got the Manta Sashimi, so very different for me, but yeah. hey, we're in Hawaii. I figured I would try it out. Hope it's fresh. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Which one should I go, the, the lighter or the darker? I first? think you should go lighter. Okay, let's start with the lighter. This is, seems like a very, very keep big Keep it together, bite. keep it together, keep it together. Okay, maybe I cut it in half? Nope, keep it together. <laughs> okay, and then sauce, like this one maybe? Yeah, let's see. This looks like a very big bite. Yeah, it's kind of high you have to eat it, but... I'm calling you bud. <laughs> <laughs> like Caleb. Yeah. Okay, here we go, ready? I'm a little nervous. Okay. okay, that was very, very good. It was a very big bite. But that sauce was like a very spicy mustard. It was really good. I you liked it. But you don't like mustard, so I'm surprised. I, I prefer mustard over fish flavor, so <laughs> there we go. Alright, so he's gonna go for the red meaty bite now. And I'll it, but trust this? me, keep it together, it's gonna be easier. Okay, I'll try this one. Okay. It's funny how that one had such a different texture. That one had a little bit more chew to it, I feel. But the flavor was really good, and this sauce is more of a sweeter sauce than that spicy mustard. So, overall, I think it's pretty good. Good for you. Yeah. All right, so between the two different dips, which one do you prefer? Um, I kind of like this one a little bit more, but they're both good. They're just so different. So Steve's going to take a bite. He's going to try some of my sashimi. Pretty good, right? Like, I have no idea what that sauce is. Maybe you could describe it a little bit better. It has like a yuzu flavor to it. Okay, I don't know what that is. It's like sweeter. Oh. So, yeah, it's good. That was very fresh fish, so. Yeah. Yeah. And you just hop right on the table, right? From outside. <laughs> so I win the appetizer round? Uh, I think so. Okay. Well, you have to try this. I have to try the bisque. Yeah. I think that's delicious. I think it's really good. Does it have a chew? I mean, it's not a chew, it's it's not like unlike any lobster I've ever had before. I think it's really good. Hmm. I think the, the bisque is really good. It's got a good, good flavor. And then, yeah, my bite of lobster was perfect. Agreed to disagree. Granted, I, 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 I obviously filmed you cutting through that lobster. Yeah, you it saw how tough, rough it was. The bite I got was delicious. Mike got the shell still on it. it yeah. <laughs> Okay, so our cocktails showed up, and we both got the same thing. We got the signature Mai Tai. It's called the Manta Signature Mai Tai, and what's this? Lily Koi Foam. So if you know, we tried to recreate this a few times. Did we do a vlog for that? I don't know. Because we would call this Mai Tai, not here, but from a place called Monkey Pod, and we've been trying to recreate it ever since. So this looks pretty much like it. So yeah. I'm excited so, about that. So you got the... You got the dark rum, the light rum, and then that Liliquay foam right on top. This is going to be awesome. So we did switch. I am really enjoying this seafood bisque. Steve is now finishing up my sashimi. Good? Yeah. And I've had a sip of my Mai Tai. It is fantastic. This is the Mai Tai I wanted. We actually, um, we didn't really vlog it too much. We took a few pictures, but we went to Copper Bar just down the way and grab some Mai Tais, and they were okay. They it's were like kinda... normal like bar Mai Tai. Yeah, <laughs> basic Mai Tai. This is the signature Mai Tai. Yeah. As we're sitting here enjoying our cocktails, we notice it's kind of like Disneyland. There's just like these feral cats running around all over the place. I think you can kind of see that on the image, but there's a black cat there, but there's another one over there. And dinner has arrived. As I mentioned, I got the veal chop. He set it down and I, Oh, it smells so good. And I have to apologize with all the shadows over here, but I got the daily special, which was a market fresh pot ahi ahi with a paired sea scallops with the beer blanc on top. So, sounds amazing. So, I gotta say, 
Yeah. The fish on its own is very good. I'm always a big fan of Adi Adi. Uh, we typically do that for like sandwiches and stuff like that at home. Yeah. But the fact that this has a beer blanc on it, it definitely elevates it to a whole other level. Yes, when he mentioned beer blanc when he was describing it, yeah. I was like, oh, that sounds good. But I'm excited to actually try the scallops next with that sauce on it as well. Okay. The ahi's good, the scallops is where it's at. Though. I was gonna say, just by watching it, it looked like a scallops cut a lot better yeah. than the ahi. It's so good, it's so good. I mean, awesome. it's, a, it's a meaty steak, the ahi, but the scallops just like fall apart. They melt like butter, right? So. Yeah. Let's see you try yours. Okay. So again, this is the veal chop, and it was funny. He asked me how I wanted it cooked, and I said chef's recommendations. And he was like, well, actually, it's a little funny when it comes to veal because chef's recommendation is medium rare, I think he said, but I guess there's like some collagen in it, so it gives it a weird texture. So he basically steered me towards ordering it medium. Yeah. He thinks I would like that texture more, so. Let's see. And then it Mm. That is perfect. That's a great texture, a lot of good flavor, and that was just the end piece. Right off the bat, I'm really, really happy. Cooked really, really well. Seasoned delicious. It's awesome. Love it. <laughs> okay, so I am well into my veal chop. It is so delicious. It's cooked perfectly. I am loving these potatoes here. It almost, they almost kind of look, the way they've sliced them, it almost looks like they're little bananas, but it's potato. Very, very well seasoned, very, very good, like pairs perfectly with this veal chop. I'm not crazy about this broccolini, but that's just because it's broccolini. I'm not crazy about that, but everything else, very, very good. And Steve has given me multiple bites of those, those diver scallops. So Holy moly, those are where it's at. So good. Very good. So I'm sitting here eating fish, and look who is right here. I think this is why they're around. Yeah, that's right. You want some fish, don't you? So I just told Mike we should talk about dessert, and he's like, right. I don't even know what we just ordered. I, well, it's true, <laughs> yes, because we didn't get dessert menus. No. So we don't, and he listed everything they had, but you know. He also said like, if we were to bring out the dessert menu, it would list something I would not recommend. So. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he, he definitely told us to steer clear of something. Yes. Should we say what it was? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, it was like the cheesecake or something, Yeah, right? yeah, stay away from the cheesecake, apparently. Stay away from the cheesecake. But he did tell us early on when we were ordering our starters that whenever our entrees eventually came out, we should place a souffle order because right. it take 20 minutes to prepare. Right, which is usual at a restaurant. Yeah. Souffles, you have to serve it immediately. But, so we are getting a chocolate souffle, and I don't know exactly what it is, but it sounded fabulous. Yeah, it's I think he just surprised us and said, we're actually gonna bring out some creme anglaise with it. So like, yes. oh, well, thank you for letting us know, because we don't know what we're ordering, but <laughs> I bet it's gonna be amazing. Yes. So how do you feel so far? It's our first night in Hawaii, our first dinner in Hawaii. I'm starting to feel relaxed. Yes, Yes. And what I mean by that, the sleepiness is he's, starting He's to getting end. very tired, yes. folks. <laughs> so I ordered an espresso martini just to be able to adjust to the time zone. Right. And he suggested it pairs perfectly well with this mystery souffle we're getting. So right. So I'm excited about it. So it is, just to give everyone, it is, oh, okay. It is 9.15 here in Hawaii, which means it's what time? Uh, 12, 15 you keep on saying home. it's a three hour difference. I think it's a four hour difference. I think it's I think it's only three. All right, well we gotta check that. Yeah, so we'll check. it's after midnight basically. So right. Regardless. And yeah, after midnight on a Sunday, we're asleep. Yeah, I'm, I've already gone up to bed and Steve has passed out on the couch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I tried to wake him up to get him to go upstairs. Always but leaves me on leaves. the couch. He leaves. Always he leaves me on the couch. <laughs> Apparently I also sleep talk. When you do, you, you sleep talk couch. bad. I don't. I don't know. It's not me. It's it's whatever my voices in my head are saying. I think our drinks are coming. So to end the night, I have got my classic, my go-to, my Hendrix martini, and Steve has got an espresso martini. So yeah, basic basic person <laughs> espresso martini. Basic? It's not basic. It's it's pretty basic. If Is you, it? Yeah. Our friend Cam, he's a bartender. He's like anybody that orders an espresso martini is just bringing it in on the basic bus. So. <laughs> Here we are. All right, here is our souffle. All right, so we got a chocolate souffle. We have two different sauces here, Lilacoy on the left, Grand Marnier on the right. 
Wow. And then of course, as we know, we have to cut across in the top, right? Ah. And then Grand Marnier? Yeah, I like the Grand Marnier, yes. Okay. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. All right, I'm gonna reserve a little bit. Okay. For us to dip later. Yes. So we all joke that Mike likes to try things at like lava <laughs> level, lava temps. <laughs> so he's gonna go right in on this. I think it's cooled down enough. I'll just take the full bite. Mm. That's really good. The chocolate is very, very light. It's not nearly as like. Well, dense and dark as we had Based on the appearance of it, it doesn't look like a dark chocolate souffle. Right, I don't think it comes out with the light, but um, yeah, it's really, really good, but like, I feel like California Grill, where they have a chocolate souffle, it's like really rich and dense. Um, this one, not so much. Okay, so overall? It's really, really good. It's not the best chocolate souffle I've ever had, so. All right, there you go. Yeah, there Put you it go. here. Okay, so even though he's about to fall asleep, <laughs> I'm not um, he is going to go ahead and try some of this chocolate Whatever. souffle. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'm you, very, uh, you're about to fall asleep. I'm very nervous at how hot this is. It's really not that hot. All right. So souffle inherently is very like light and airy, right? Yes. Right. But I think you're right. It's missing that like decadent finish right. that a really good like semi-sweet or dark chocolate typically brings to something like this. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where it's lacking, but the anglais is phenomenal. But there's another um, sauce here that I want to try. It's a lilokoi right. uh, sauce, which basically translates in Hawaiian to passion fruit. So it should give you a totally different flavor profile. So Okay, try that next. Okay. <laughs> Somehow that bite was even more muted. Oh no. Yeah, we really? gotta try that. Like, okay. Because I did try the sauce and I was like, oh, okay, that, that's definitely passionate fruit. Yeah, but it's a little less impressive. Okay, let me so. try it. <laughs> right? You're right, that's so weird. Because I took my spoon earlier and I dipped it into the yep. liliquai. And you get like passion fruit, but with the chocolate. Yeah. It's odd. It's like dull. They, they cancel each other out. Yeah. Huh. Weird. So we recommend the Grand Marnier. Yeah. It's Grand Marnier, right? The Grand Marnier Anglais yeah. Yeah. with the chocolate souffle. We actually recommend getting a souffle somewhere else, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so dinner is done. So now we are walking down towards the- Ocean. Yeah. The beach. So our server was telling us that usually if you go down to these lookout points marked by the torches, you can see manta rays, but he said that the water was a little too rough tonight. Yeah, I so. think he said that it was high tide, so hence yeah. the namesake manta doesn't have mantas tonight. Right. But this oh, well. is right outside our hotel room. We can always come down here and see if we can see him another night. Okay, leave it to Steve to want to go this way. We get a sign. It says, "Do not do enter not. the ocean." We're not going to enter the ocean. We're not going to. I jump think they into mean the do not. I think they mean don't go this way. No, it says, "Do not enter the ocean from this area. Don't jump off the wall." Okay. Yes. <laughs> I still think this means just turn around, go back. Oh my goodness, you guys! I don't think this is going to show up, but we just walked out here. We are good. That was the entryway. There's this little like rotundra area yeah. where you can look out over the ocean. Again, I don't think anything's Whoa. gonna, oh wow, the water's Whoa. coming up. It is so beautiful. And like, I look up and it's just, you can see the stars see for days. Like, no light pollution at all with our Man. But like, look back over here on the beach. You can at least get the lights on the beach and everything over there. Yeah, so, so if we turn this way, there's our resort. Right there, that's the restaurant. There's Manta right there. That's where we walk down from. This is so awesome. All right, and after our little moment looking at the stars and the beach, we're gonna go back to our room now. Yes. And I think we're gonna crash, because I'm very tired. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so one of the fun things about these trips. The work trip. The prizes. Work trip. Yes. <laughs> so again, we're here because we had an amazing year, performance and everything, so 
they leave us with presents nightly in our yes. hotel room. So, so what do we got tonight? We're greeted with this. What is this? <laughs> Aloha. It looks like a bag. Yep. So we got a nice little beach bag. So normally the first night they load us up with our beach gear that we need for the trip. So that's kind of fun. So we have our oh, very water cool. tumbler. Like it. Hydro Ooh, flask. flask. We have a little toiletry bag. Yes, for toiletries. <laughs> uh, we've got a quick dry towel. Oh, interesting. Awesome. Cool. Another. Oh, another one. Hydro flask. We actually use these all the time. Yeah, we do. <laughs> And what else do we have here? Another towel. So we got two towels. That's awesome. Toiletry bag, beach bag. So they know you come with a you know a guest, yeah. your spouse, your partner. Your extra person. And yeah. So everybody's taken care of. So each of us get an awesome water bottle. This is a great way to start the trip. Yes. Because tomorrow we have Cabana Day. That's right. Very much looking forward to that. Yes. All right, everyone, so as you can see, that was our first day here on the island. We are still here, based on the background here, uh, but we're excited to bring a lot more of this trip to you in the upcoming vlogs. But from our magic family, yours, enjoy.